Hey everybody, it's Brian here from NS Live TV, Nova Scotia's online community TV channel. Roll the graphic. Well, of course, it's a regular day for our event update show. We're a little bit late, but you know, technical complications and things are being what they are. Anyhow, we're rolling. We're live here on Facebook right now with the uh, event update live. And of course, what's on everybody's mind right now is the weather with Tropical Storm Aaron rolling through. And I've got, uh, I thought I'd bring you some weather here. Do something a little different in this show because uh, that is the main topic. What I've got here is a uh, weather radar map from uh, Government of Canada. Yeah, you can actually see the up-to-date weather radar right here on this website and you can see the website right here there yeah. weathergc.ca that's the website you can go to if you actually want to watch this and see what's happening with the storm as it moves through it looks like uh, the Naples Valley and uh, northern shore of Nova Scotia has got quite a bit of rain so far the south shore not so much but I believe we're going to get some a little later because that's where we're located just outside of Halifax so there you go some weather updates I'll just bring you the current conditions, seven-day forecast, here it is. And of course, uh, it's looking good for the weekend. It's a long weekend, Labor Day weekend, you gotta like that. It's gonna clear up on Friday, uh, it'll be 26 degrees, Saturday, Sunday, down to 22, but uh, that's not bad, we'll take sunny and 22 on a Sunday any day. And uh, there'll be a few clouds in there as well. It's not gonna be completely sunny apparently, but uh, you know, We'll take it, right? <laughs> Monday, same thing, about 20 degrees, uh, mainly sunny with some clouds. So not a bad, long Labor Day weekend. We're going to have fun. Hope you are too. Uh, lots of great events are happening this weekend, and let's get right into it. Let's bring you some of those events right now. Of course, we're going to jump over to our uh, our Facebook page, Facebook event page. Here it is. I've done a full screen this time. Got a little promotional video talks about uh, our coverage of events and uh, what it can do to pr help promote events and things like that. First thing I want to talk about is the uh, La Have Islands glamping adventure. Glamping. Oh, it's not a word that comes naturally. Glamping. <laughs> I still can't say it right. <laughs> can you say it? Glamping. There we go. Uh, it's already on here taking a look at it. It sounds like a wonderful, wonderful event. Um, and it's put on by La Have Adventures. Uh, September 3rd, which is Tuesday, and the 5th, which is uh, Thursday. There's going to have some wonderful food and wine. It looks like they're going to tent alongside the, uh, uh, on an island campsite. Man, that's going to be amazing. Kayak over to an island, tent, have some wine and food. That sounds pretty good to me. And here's the dates. It's all here. September 3rd and 5th, the times. And you can get your tickets. It's all right here on this Facebook page. Just click here to get your tickets, whichever one you're interested in. And if you want to know more about uh, Cape La Have Adventures, their page is right here. Just click on that to go to it. And here's some more things that they're doing with Cape La Have Adventures. So, yeah, great Facebook page. You can get to it from our event page. I just suggest you check that out if you like kayaking at all. We'll talk about these ones later. They're coming up later in the month. All right, upcoming events <laughs> this this week, because we're talking about this week's events coming up this week. <clears throat> International Overdose Awareness Day. Got that one right here. Of course, it is a topic that we have to pay attention to. It's not going away. And uh, some uh, some statistics here that are, are really hard to swallow, but it's, it's the truth. I mean, it's something we have to pay attention to, honestly. And I believe there's a march. There's a couple time slots here. Uh, they gather at the corner of Godigan and Cornwallis. And uh, yeah, all the details are here. There'll be a three, mo three minutes of silence and there's a barbecue and things like that afterwards. So all the details are here. You can read it for yourself. You don't need me to do that for you. Yeah, so International Overdose Awareness Day is coming up August 30th. What's next? <laughs> one of my favorites. Pleasant Valley Mud Fest. Let's go find that one. Here it is. <clears throat> yeah, baby. Look at the mud. <laughs> if 
you want to get dirty, this is the place to do it at Pleasant Valley Motorsport Park. They do this all the time there. This time it's Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's all day mud fest. And a few details here. There is a $20 per person fee. Bounty hole. That must be the prize money. Is that the prize money, the 2000 I, I don't know. Let me know. Is that the prize money? Okay. And you can find out more about Pleasant Valley Motor Support Park right here on their Facebook page. There you go. Some pictures and everything. I've talked about them many times because they do all kinds of events throughout the summer. And they're really fun motorsports there. If you're into that type of thing, you should check that out. Of course, this one doesn't need to, uh, me to talk about it a lot. The Air Show Atlantic, that's on this weekend. Here's their, their Facebook page, Saturday 10 to 5. I believe it goes Sunday as well. At least that's when I was thinking about going. All the prices are here. Uh, there's a newsletter you can join. Blue Angels are back again this year. We love the Blue Angels. CF, what are those, CF-15s? or No, CF is, of course, a Canadian plane. These are F-15. F, yeah, I don't know. It's a number. It's been a while. <laughs> Anyhow, I love the Blue Angels. Thanks for coming, guys. We appreciate it. We love it when you come up here to Canada. The newsletter, what else you want to know? That's all here. And I always love this guy, Manford Radius. I mean, can, can you get a better name than Manford Radius? He's a sailplane or, or a glider pilot, and he does all kinds of acrobatic tricks in a glider. Of course, it's an unpowered plane. No motor. So... Hats off to Manford. He's been doing that a while. I've been watching him since I was a kid going to these shows. So, Airshow Atlantic. It's back again this year, of course. All kinds of great pictures here. All right. They do a lot of promotion on that, so they don't need me to talk about it a whole lot because everybody knows about the air show, don't you? Everybody knows. <laughs> Sport Bike Riders, Nova Scotia. First annual. I don't can't see it all here. Let me bring up their page. First annual Ride for Fun 2019. Now, I should mention that this is part of the Wharf Rat Rally. And of course, the big motorcycle rally that happens down in Digby every year, it's part of that. Just one of the many, many events that are happening there this weekend. The place is going to, as you can see from the picture, Digby is going to be filled with motorcycles. So, and this is one of the first, this kind of kicks it off. Um, they ride in. Ride for fun to kick off the whole thing. We'll be leaving Digby Tim Hortons by KFC and the mall at approximately at noon. So that's when we'll take off. They're going to uh, come into New Minus. There we are, a little further down the valley. It's a photo op at Annapolis Dam. <clears throat> there you go. All the details are right there. So if you want to join the ride, that's a, that would be an awesome one to join. And, of course, here is a Wharf Rat Rally event page. Check that out. Uh, you can find that on your own. It's a well-known event. Doesn't need, you don't need me to talk about these really well-known events in case you haven't heard of them. Maybe you haven't heard of the War Frat Rally. I can't say that really fast. But uh, if you haven't and you like motorcycles, that's the place to be this weekend. And not too far. But I didn't mention that the air show is at Greenwood this year. So Greenwood, Digby, not too far away from each other. So you could catch everything all in one weekend here. It's going to be a crazy weekend for things happening here in Nova Scotia. All right. And Shine Day. That's our next one here. Shine Day, um, Dalhousie Shinerama. They're back at it again this year, raising funds for cystic fibrosis. So you see them around town collecting funds for uh, Shinerama. Of course, put on by Dalhousie Student Union. Yeah, Dalhousie Shinerama, there's their page. Student Union page, Shinerama is a nonprofit organization fighting cystic fibrosis. So a great cause, lots of fun. They usually have car washes and lots of other things happening, lots of music. So check it out. And Model Call, Atlantic Fashion Week, Season 13. I'm getting excited about Atlantic Fashion Week. There's no event that I right now would like to go to more than Atlantic Fashion Week to uh, to live stream some of it, to bring you some of the fashion shows, to get in there and maybe interview some of the um, the designers and the models and, and just really bring it to you through our community TV channel. Wouldn't that be awesome? I think that would be awesome. It would be a lot of fun. It would be something make some great television for you. Something for you to watch. It's local, produced right here in this province. Great jobs, by the way. You know, production jobs right here in the province. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. 
So they're looking for models to be a, a part of it. All the details are right here. We encourage all models that have a strong runway walk. Well, I do. I've got a strong runway walk, don't you think? Hmm, maybe I could be a model. Okay, moving on. <laughs> There's a few a uh, few questions and things. So it's all here. If you're interested in being a model for Atlantic Fashion Week, check that out. I think you'll have fun. The Kenful Enduro. I'll bring that page up here. There we go. <clears throat> Kenful Enduro MTB Challenge Series Race 6. So there's been a number of them throughout the summer put on by my good buddies at Trail Flow Adventures. Where are we? And it happens at the gorge, not far from where I used to live, and that's a beautiful place to walk. Even if you just want to go for a walk, uh, maybe take your dog or whatever, it, it is a gorgeous spot to walk through those trails. So here's some more information about it. Race 6 of 8, so there's two more races this year you should know about. <clears throat> and there are time, multiple time downhill stages jam-packed with a great mix of fast-flowing trails. And believe me, some of them are steep, and you have to be an experienced mountain biker to, to handle some of those. But then there's also trails for people like me who aren't so experienced. So whatever your thing, you can find it at the gorge. Yeah, there we go. That's all in the town of Kenful. And Shirley Jackson and her good rockin' daddies. <laughs> Gotta like them. Way to go, Shirley. That's, again, uh, I'm not going to bring up that page because it's also part of the War Frat Rally. That's Sunday, September 1st um, at 7 p.m. They'll be playing, and that was them making a, an event for their uh, their gig there at War Frat Rally. So, like I said, lots happen at War Frat Rally. you got to click this link right here. That one, yep, you got to click on that one to find out more about what's happening this weekend up there in Digby. And it's going to be a lots of fun. Uh, and the annual Labor Day picnic, as we move through here, I'll bring that one up. This is hosted by Annapolis Valley Labor Council, and it's happening at Kenful Memorial Park in Kenful on Park Street. Doesn't really have a lot of details. Doesn't really tell you any details. So, yeah, well, go check it out anyways, even though it doesn't really tell you what's happening. I think it's going to be fun. I think they said there was a barbecue. Was there a barbecue? Hmm. I'm just sorry about spinning through there. And labor center. Well, it doesn't really say, but uh, free for everyone, fun for the whole family. Let's click on the image. There we go. Live music, bouncy castle, face painting, Jimmy dogs. They're the best. Barbecue and much more. So there's a barbecue. I was right. Too many events. Too much going on. I can't remember them all. All right. And then we're into September 7th. We'll talk about that next week on next week's show because, yeah, we have another show between then and now. So there you go. There's a good list of things to check out. I've got a couple others. Oh, I didn't find event uh, uh, events to link to our page, but I want to show them to you anyways. This one's kind of neat. Giant Killer Shark the musical <laughs> i love that <laughs> it's not even shark week <laughs> and it's part of the uh, the halifax fringe festival it's, it's a musical play put on at the bus stop theater co-op and you can get more information there so you see how that popped up when i put my mouse on it that's why facebook kind of connects everything together whether you love it or hate it facebook can be a powerful thing for you <laughs> giant killer shark unleashes chaos on a copyright protect uh, protected beach community yeah that sounds kind of familiar yeah anyhow you can read that yourself here's the cast and who was written by great job everyone that might be something to really check out i love community theater myself i, I was involved in it for quite a while and hopefully uh, will be again so giant killer shark the musical check it out one more here, Family Participation Days at Ross Farm Museum. That's coming up uh, this Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, starting at 9 o'clock, all three days. You can see the dates are here. If you click on those, you'll get uh, information on each day. There we go. So there's a bit of an admission fee there, nothing too major, and uh, website and contact information if you want to participate. Yeah, Family Participation Days at Ross Farm Museum. And I've got one more. Mosaic Festival 19, a celebration of culture and diversity in Halifax. 
So there we go. That is uh, Saturday, August 31st of 5, and Sunday, September 1st of 5. That's uh, Salter, Salter Lot, down, uh, waterfront downtown Halifax. I can speak, yes. Hosted by the Mosaic Festival Halifax. So there's some information on that. that. Um, oh, there's a parade. I'm just highlighting stuff here. The parade will kick off at the Canadian Museum of Integration, Pier 21, then travel down Lower Water Street, land at the Salter Lot on the waterfront. There's performances, song, dance, and more from around the globe. So great international uh, diversity event, Mosaic Festival 19. Like I said, uh, I can't share these separately, so they're not on our Facebook event, uh, event page, so I wanted you to take note of them anyways, because they look fabulous. Okay, well, that's all the events I have for this week for uh, Episode 9 of Event Update. I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed tuning in and watching. Bring back my main screen here. There we are. Yeah, I hope you uh, tuned in and watched and, and enjoyed it and you found an event that you want to go see this weekend because there is a ton happening here in this province. And it's going to be a beautiful weekend for it. The weather's going to clear up. At least that's what they're saying. I showed you it earlier. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame that website. Yeah, so uh, look, if you have an event and you need to promote it, there's no better way than community TV. We'll bring, it in, bring us in and uh, we can film it and make clips that you can share on the internet uh, through all your social media feeds and uh, we can even uh, have the, uh, the cost put off to some sponsors yeah so you don't have to cover the cost yourself you know there's ways to do this anyhow this is brian from ns live tv saying have a great weekend have fun be safe get out there and enjoy some events around the province until next time well, maybe we'll see you at the next event this is brian have a great time